sound. Okay. I have no idea how to do this, if the sound quality is okay, or, well, quite frankly, anything, because it's my first time freaking recording my voice. So, if it's weird, um, either I'll deal with it, <laughs> or I won't post this. <laughs> um, I'm working on a fan art for Strange the Dreamer, or well, technically, it's for the second book, Muse of Nightmares, of Sarai. And, as you can see, it's not finished yet, and I have no idea how I want to finish it, really. I mean, the idea was to paint with, like, more textured brushes and stuff, but, I don't know, it just wasn't, I don't know, I wasn't getting the results I really like, wanted as I was working on it, so I kind of set it aside. And now I feel like messing around with it a little bit tonight. Oh, everything looks wrong here. I don't know. Let's see. Brushes, texture. No, that's a jeans texture. We don't want that. This my selection of textures is really shite. Maybe I'll do dual brush. That gets interesting results. Anyway, I really don't think I can keep talking the entire time I'm painting. Because it's really weird just to talk to yourself. I mean, no, it's not. <laughs> I can and do just talk to myself, like muttering or whatever, if I'm like distracted with something. But to record it and for somebody else to listen, this is just not so much weird, but kind of like, I don't know what to say. I mean,. Somebody was here asking questions, even with chat, that would be awesome, but, well, for now, that is not happening, so. I don't know if it's my settings or what, but every time I watch somebody else paint on a video, it just, everything looks like it's so smooth, it's really working. And every time I try to do it, it's like, am I pushing the pen wrong? Are the settings completely off? I don't know. Everything's weird and it doesn't feel the same way it looks when other people are doing it. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. Well. See, I'm already out of things to say. This is weird. There should be music or something, except, except I won't put in the music because it's always really weird whenever I turn on any kind of uh, video with art on it. I mean, I love watching those vlogs or just sketchbook tour, tour blah, tours or whatever, but well, it's like I like the art, but I hate the taste in music or just whatever they select is the only thing they can put on without, you know, YouTube freaking out. So, it's just really aggravating when you <laughs> look at something really pretty on the thumbnail and you're like, oh sweet, I wanna see what like that art style was like. And you turn it on and it's just some god awful soundtrack and you're just like, oh please stop. I don't wanna hear this. I'd rather people talk, really. That, those are the best. Whenever you're watching somebody do a sketchbook tour and they just talk, except I understand now why it's so much harder. Because <laughs> you're kind of like blathering on and on. And I mean, they probably edit it, but I'm not going to because, well, I'm just starting out and I have no idea how to do any of that with any of the technology that I should be using for video editing. This is like my first time venturing out into this strange new realm. Right, okay. I also always, or usually always, paint with references. Um, random things I find on the internet. Try not to copy it to exact. And 
you know, it's best not to use just one reference. But I found this image on, I don't know, Pinterest maybe? Tumblr? Something. Tumblr, I think. And it had the right kind of color and feel to it. So I took that idea, but I really want to keep, I want to keep changing the way Sarai looks like here to, because first of all, it's really not what I, exactly what I want, what I had in mind. And also because I don't want it to look too much like the reference inspirational image. Okay. Um, settings. Let's go to softer brush settings. Okay. Like, why does this look weird to me? Everything looks weird to me right now. Oh god, I don't even know if this is recording my voice. <laughs> I hope you can hear me. Otherwise, it's like, you talked to yourself for a while. Oh well. Damn, some days you pick up, you pick a brush, you select a brush, right? In Photoshop, and it, it just, it does what you want and it feels right. And at other times, you, you use the same brush you've used so often, and it just, it just doesn't work somehow. It just feels weird. Yeah, so welcome to my channel. This is where I complain about stuff, apparently. Um, right, so if anyone will actually watch this, I don't know, drop me a line, say hi, something. I don't really, you know, care about like, oh my gosh, views and, you know, subscriptions and so on. This is just sort of like, I don't know, entertaining for me and hopefully more motivating if there, if there would be someone willing to or interested in watching and I don't know, we could, interested in art, has questions about anything really, I'm down for that, that'd be cool. I'm also thinking of, well, I've mentioned this before, I want to stream, I think, instead of record, because, I don't know, then you, I would have more interaction from people, if, <laughs> if there are people, yeah, I don't know. Because this is sort of like, um, me, me, okay, I live in, in a non-English speaking country right now, I moved out here, and for the most part, I love everything about this place, it's, it's just, it's where I spent my summers as a kid, you know, there's some family here, it's very peaceful, it's very old fashioned, I mean like nature and stuff more around, more than like cities, but it's also lacking in English speaking people, especially artists, and it can feel sort of lonely and isolated, artistically speaking. So, I don't know, the internet is great, but um, I figured I should try videos, <laughs> because maybe it'll motivate me um, to, to Bloody hell, what's happening with her eyeball? Who knows? Everything looks weird. Okay. First question, what the hell do I want her to look like? Answer, I don't know. I'm just winging it, pretty much. Bloody anatomy, right? Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah. People here do not speak English, and as someone who, well, I grew up first speaking a different language, I mean when I was, you know, a very tiny child, but all of my education and so on has been in the English language, and while I do read and there is the internet, it is amazing, like, once you're in a different country that doesn't speak your language, how much you start to miss it. <laughs> 
which is there are like in the city um native like local people who grew up here were born here but have learned to speak english through either college or i don't know because they were determined or something and like they do understand it but they don't feel the same way about it the way i do like whenever they're online and between themselves they prefer i think mostly to speak in russian or whichever romanian their native language but for me it's like yeah i grew up speaking russian and ukrainian when i was like i don't know till i was eight but afterward everything switched over to english i think in english i write i you know dream in freaking english so <laughs> when there's no one else around except like one family member who speaks it as well it's really i don't know it's kind of like I'm in isolation, some weird form of exile, I don't know. I'm rambling, which I'm very good at, let's face it, it's what I do. Oh god, her forehead, like, one way looks weird, the other way looks weird, everything looks weird, I don't even know. Ah, stop it. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. That's like 99% of my paintings are like, what am I doing? Everything is going wrong. You keep going until eventually you're like, hey, I'm done. Sweet. Mm. Should I add a bit of purple? Slightly more red, I think. Anyway, this is supposed to be like a test drive little video thing. I don't know. I don't think I want to record too long because it's a bit of a pain in the ass to upload it. Okay, not that much, but I haven't gone over like, you know, an hour <laughs> of recording yet. But I imagine that if I do, it'll be a pain to upload. And I don't really feel up to devoting my life and time into like editing these videos. I'm not trying to make a like, you know, super professional career version of this YouTube channel. This is just for fun. And if anybody else wants to join in, you know, watch, talk, whatever. It's just for fun. Yeah, so I'll keep these short for now until I figure something else out. Although my painting sessions, like when I'm working, do tend to be pretty long because you kind of, I mean, if things are going well, you kind of get lost in the painting. And you just keep going and going until you realize, wow, half the day's gone. What happened? I'm hungry. Yep. Okay. Now the eternal question. Do I want it facing one way or the other way? <laughs> I don't know. I gotta fix her eyeball though. It's wrong. Oh god. I'm using shortcut keyboard thingy, um, shortcuts on the keyboard, but it's like off to the side since I got this Cintiq. So like, it's all very awkward to like find them as I'm working. Anyway, I don't think I have much to say right now, at least. So, this is the kind of crap you can expect. Me blathering on about who knows what, but with possibly, you know, art <laughs> in the middle of it all. So. I don't think those lips are her lips. This is not working the way it should. Let's see, where's the original, or at least semi-original? Here we go. Here we go. You look nothing alike, lady. Okay, I better fix that. I'm actually making her skin slightly with a bit more like green in it rather than 
the original blue that's on this side uh, for symbolic artistic reasons, I guess. If you've read book two, well, I mean, if you've read book one, you know what happens at the end, but then how it manifests itself and what that looks like is kind of more explored in book two. And I feel the need to make a visual distinction between what she looked like in book one and how she then looks like in book two. I mean, it's not a dramatic transformation, not like Laszlo, but still, I want it to be there because things did change. Also, have you read this book? If you have not, read it. <laughs> or talk to me about it. I don't know, something. This is like a very... Oh, I love this book. I love the series. I love pretty much everything Lainey Taylor writes because... I don't know. I, it's like... I read her Daughter of Smoke and Bone series first and oh, it was like discovering something that felt so comfortable and so right, like visually. Well, in other ways too, but like visually inside my head. It was kind of like, wow, this person's imagination is very, like, I, my brain, it's very compatible to me, I guess. Do I make sense? No, I don't. But um, it was like, I could read, I, I could read other people's works and enjoy it up to a point, some more, some less. But this one felt very, very like, like how I want to visualize my art put into words, which was pretty rare and very amazing. So, and then I started making fan art for it, which helped me artistically and just, you know, and just, I don't know, coping through shit, I guess. Her chin looks weird. It looks flat and weird. And what is lighting? No one knows. At least I don't. Other people probably do. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is like the dream job, really. Like, I just want to promote books. I want to, like, not review them so much. I mean, yeah, not really review them, but I want to, like, find the ones that I absolutely adore and then just make art for it and just like promote it rather than review it, promote it through art. <laughs> I want to inspire other people to go like, wow, that looks really cool. I wonder what the story is there and then go check out the book. That is what I want. I wonder if there's like a way for like a publishing house to like hire artists in the same way they kind of send um, books to people for, you know, uns unsolicited reviews, right? So that you send a book to an artist in the hopes that if they like it, well, they might review it in a way, but if they like it, the primary goal is for them to illustrate something, make something visual for people to... I don't know. I mean, how often, like, a reader sure go out of their way to find um, reviews to read if you're looking for a book, you know? But a visual uh, medium is, like, I don't know. God damn, I gotta stop saying that. Basically, it's visual. You see it, you know? You don't have to stop and read an explanation or whatever. You don't even have to know much about it. If the, if it speaks to you, it, it it just, it does. And then you would go out of your way to find out more about it, I suppose. Basically, hire me, make a new profession. This is what I wanna do. I would like to make art based on and around the stories and books. Yep. What do I do with her chin? I don't like it. And her lips are wrong. Smiley 
smiley or not smiley? What's the mood here? I mean, it's more flirty and kind of easygoing, I guess. Not serious or dramatic. So maybe we should go for a more smiley kind of thing. Well, maybe it's more seductive based on the pose and everything. <laughs> I don't know. The color really got to me. That's what usually gets to me. I mean, sometimes you find an image that has like really awesome pose that speaks to you, but more often than not, for me, it's like, wow, look at that color scheme. Which then I suck at replicating. But you know, we're trying, it's fine. <sighs> to have a model in your pocket, like, well, not in your pocket, God, that sounded weird. I meant, like, wouldn't it be great if I had. An all a model on demand to be like, okay, look, here's the idea. Please pose this way. Thank you. Now get out. I have to paint. Hmm. No, that's wrong. What is anatomy? Oh God, I'm qu that's it. I'm stopping. I'm quitting. I give up. Everything is wrong. What if I just like ignore that for now? Good. <laughs> How do we fix it? We don't know. Let's ignore it. That's the way. What are chins and why are they all so different? And then you can't. <sighs> nope. Oh well. I'll come back to it. I should probably stop this and see if it's actually recording and if it sounds alright or not. So, this will be a. How much has it been recording? Like a 20 minute, 20 something minute video? Um, yep. I think. I think that's all for now. Laters.